Hello, everybody. I'm Gloria Copeland. <coughs> Pastor George is back with us today with more good <laughs> stuff. Today is bulldog faith. Bulldog faith. That's what it takes. Ooh. You can't let go under you pressure. You can't. You can't. <laughs> no, ma'am, you can't. And that's why... That's why, that's why this has so much to do with our prosperity. Yeah. We, are, we are actively believing God around here like I have not seen us believe God Praise for God. things. You know, usually we'll have a, a project here or a project there. We've got multiple projects going on around this place. I mean, we're believing for every available voice. We have, we have things that we're believing for in the church. But you know what? There is no limit to what you can believe for based on the, based on the development of your faith. George, I, I wasn't really listening. I was thinking about bulldogs. <laughs> I was thinking about they're so ugly. You know, bulldogs yeah. are so ugly. Yeah. But I'm telling you, yeah. they're convincing. <laughs> they are convincing. <laughs> Gloria, they really are. <laughs> and that bulldog faith, I can just see a little bulldog just not letting go. Just, mm -hmm. yep. just gnawing it. down on it and will not let go, will not quit, will not give up. Won't say anything different. <clears throat> And that's a perfect example of our faith. It is. Now, are you listening to me? I'm listening. Now you've got my full attention. <laughs> now that I've gotten that off my chest. Okay. Well, <clears throat> that faith, faith can be developed. It has to be developed. Yes. Because Jesus talked about, where is your faith? They had no faith. Um, they had little faith. They had great faith. You know, I, I want to be I like... I remember... Yeah. When we had no faith. No faith. <laughs> yeah. Little faith <clears throat> and great faith. Yes. Yes. And you can get it. You can. You can start anywhere. You sure can. I'm telling you. The development of our faith is something that... I started believing for groceries in the grocery store, that I could pay my bill and I wouldn't have to put <laughs> anything back. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And you were starting, you have to start wherever you are. Wherever you are, and that's where we are. You have to work. start right at the level wherever you are. And Jesus will help you develop your faith. But the development of your faith comes by hearing the Word of God. That's, that's, right. that's the beginning point of the development of our faith. I think we faith. could say seeing and hearing because you have to put it in your eyes. That's true, Gloria. That's absolutely heart, true. And when it's in it, your heart, then it come up and talk to yep. you. But you have to see it and get it in your eyes. Yep and get it in your ears, and it gets in your heart, yep. it comes out your mouth, and it goes to work. That's it right there. I mean, there in, the, in the nutshell, that's how it works. And that's how we have to be. We, we cannot lay down our faith. That's we right. cannot take a faith vacation. No, you can't. It, as opposed to the physical body, which the physical body, and, and I work out in the gym. We have a great gym here. And I train in the gym. I have one I've of the. I've heard about it. Oh, you, <laughs> you've heard about the gym. <laughs> well, I I go to the gym. Good I go early in the morning, and I meet one of the security guys here. He's been training me for two years. He's been training me. But Gloria, there is, <clears throat> there's a limit to how big I can get. I can't get as big as this room. The physical body was not designed to be that right. way, but the spirit of man. The yeah. spirit oh, of man point, has George. absolutely no limitation on how developed the spirit of man can become. Mm -mm. And I've watched you and Kenneth, you've done this over the years. You've developed your faith. You've developed your faith from little airplane. Well, let's go back. You've developed your faith from, from automobile yes. to little airplane to medium-sized airplane. When I came on the scene, you were flying a 421. That's what you and Kenneth flew back. And we back. were glad to have it. <laughs> you were thrilled to have it. And I was so, I was new to this and I was so excited and so impressed because what, one of the first meetings I went to was the Anaheim meeting, not in the convention center, but in the California room. That was uh -huh. the meeting that yeah. I was in. And I remember when the meeting was all over, we drove you and Kenneth to the airport. We were going to drive back in the van, but we took you guys to the <laughs> airport. <George>. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember <clears throat> it was a bright, sunny California day. And I remember you and Kenneth climbing aboard that plane. And I just stood there and watched the two of you. And I thought to myself, that's what faith can do. That's exactly That's right. what faith can do. And then <clears throat> you grew from that point to the next level, to the next level. Well, you can do the same thing as well. You can have the in house. In any area. In any area. You can have the house that you're believing That's for. Right. And have the car that you're believing God for. You can, you can grow and develop in your faith. But as I shared with you yesterday, I got at the point of discouragement 
some years ago when we had to move several times and, and we were not in the house that we wanted to be in and it just was a discouraging time. And the Lord said, I want you to get aggressive about your faith. Get a grip, George. <laughs> get a grip. I want you, my, my attitude was sinking fast. And he had that, he had that, that uh, halftime locker room talk with me about <laughs> getting back up on my faith yeah. and, and developing a bulldog faith, a bulldog faith. Gloria. They're well, ugly, but they won't let go. They won't let go. They won't give up. They won't, <laughs> they're determined. That's they're right. persistent. And that's exactly the way we have to be. Now, let's talk today about the okay. nature of faith. The nature of faith is, is as a bulldog. I mean, you can describe faith as a bulldog. Aggressive, determined, <clears throat> won't quit. It won't quit. And the scripture that we have here it is First John. It growls if it has to. It growls, yes, it does. You, if you ever try, now we have a poodle. We got a little well, poodle. That, there's a little difference. There's a difference there. Mm -hmm. But if that poodle gets hold of something and she does not want to let go of it, she'll bite down and she'll growl. Well, that's it's not the, very scary. Not, that's really scary. But, <laughs> but you get a bulldog like that that will bite down on something and you try to take it away from you. And that bulldog will fight you for it. We have to, and I've done this with the church, you literally have to take the Word of God, bite down on it, and don't, because the devil's going to try to steal it from you. And you just bite down on it and you don't let go. That's you right. don't quit. You don't give up. And there's some things that we learn. You just have to determine, well, how bad do I want this? Do I well, want to be a wimp? Do I want to quit? Come on. Do I want to give it, it up? Preach it. Keep living in this place I'm living? Come or on. Do I want a new house? <clears throat> That's, keep driving this old jalopy? Yep. Do I want a new car? It'll it will produce. Bulldog faith will produce anything that you stay in bulldog faith for. That's right, Gloria. We've been at it a long That's, time. You have been... And, and I've been produced. privileged to watch and learn and apply. Terry and, I, Terry and I have applied this word that we've watched you and Kenneth teach. And we've seen that faith is not, it's not a wimpy thing. Oh, it's it's not. Strong. I looked up the word. The scripture that we had that I wanted us to read was 1 John 5, 4. It says, whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. So faith is the victory yep. that overcomes the world, the world so, and yeah, everything in it. Somebody might say, yeah, but, <clears throat> but I, I'm not a preacher. I'm, I'm <clears throat> just, you know, I just work at a, this that place here yeah. and I, work, I yeah. put gas in cars yeah. and it doesn't matter where you work. That's right. It matters what you do with your faith. That's exactly right. Glory and I've, to God. I know I've had, as a pastor all of these years, I've done hospital visits. And you know, when I go to a hospital, uh, I, I take some advice that, that Brother Hagen gave many years ago, and that was you sit in your car and you pray in tongues before you go into that place and you hear from the Lord. And you know, Gloria, when you go into a situation, you're not quite sure <clears throat> what you're going to walk into, what kind of family you're going to be dealing with, but there have been occasions where I've walked into a room and Gloria, faith was in that room. Praise God. Faith was in that you room. You can tell a difference. You can tell a difference. And that person was laying hold on their healing and taking their deliverance. That's the way we have to be. We, right. we have to Thank have that, that, that overcomers taking what belongs to us, being aggressive about it, and having the attitude of a bulldog faith. Yeah. It is bulldog faith that overcomes the world, that that's bulldog right. faith that's working on the inside of us. We believe we receive it when we pray. <clears throat> that's right. That word in the Greek, receive, is to take. To take it. We take it. If you yeah. pray and ask God yeah. for a new car yeah. or a car and you leave that place <clears throat> and then you say, I, I sure would be glad to have a new car. I wish I had a new car. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going mm -hmm. to, I'm going to, I sure would like to have a new car. You didn't take it. Mm -mm. You just you spouted off something. I believe. But when you leave that place and say, I have it. Yeah. I have that car. Yes, yes, I have yes. the perfect car for me right now. I have it. I take it and I have it. Yeah. And yeah. you talk like you have it and you act like you have it. And you be thinking about where am I going to put it when it comes home? Yes. <laughs> you know, yes. you plan for it. Yeah. Well, I'm sitting here right now listening to you say this and faith is growing in my heart because of what you're saying. Praise God. What Gloria is demonstrating to us right now is what's going on in her heart. What's on the inside yeah. of us comes out of us. From the abundance of our heart, 
the mouth speaks. And I'll you have you faith in your situation heart. situation. Yeah, tell me. Was, I wanted a house. Ken could live anywhere yeah. if he yeah. had an airplane, but I wanted a house. Yes. And so, the longer I believed for that house, and I started drawing off stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is what I'm going to have. Mm-hmm. This one. Well, the longer it went, the bigger it got. Yep. But you know, there came a day when I moved in that house. That's right. Paid for. Glory to yep. God. That's right. There'll come a day when somebody will get in that new car, turn the ignition on and go to town. Exactly. Exactly. If you stay with it. If you stay with it. That's and the key, Gloria. And you get your words yep. in faith. You have to keep <clears throat> saying faith words. You can't quit. If you're bleeding for healing, you can't give up. Oh, you oh, had a, maybe you had a sharp pain. Yep, yep, but yep. he said, no, I'm not moved by that. I'm yes. healed. I believed I received my yes. healing. Jesus himself bore my healing and I am, bore my sicknesses and yes. carried my diseases and I am That's the it. healed. That's it. That's it. Somebody <laughs> ask you how you are. I'm healed. I'm healed. Yeah. That's an aggressive stand. That's right. And you know, you don't hear does. that in, in a lot of circles out there. You don't hear that that, that confident faith stand where you take what rightfully belongs to you. And I believe that it pleases the Father oh, yeah. for us to have this kind of an attitude. He has set before us a table in the mm-hmm. presence of our enemies. We need to come to that table and take what belongs to us. Take it with a bulldog grip. And, and right. I'm doing this, Terry and I are doing this right now. It, seem, it seems as if when we crossed over into this new year, Everything ramped up around here. I mean, I look at you. I look at Brother Copeland. I hear him teaching now about faith, going back to the foundational yes. principles mm-hmm. of faith. Something's going on here, folks, that We're we... preparing. At a time when somebody might think, well, they're, they're reaching their 50th year of ministry. Maybe it's time to back off a little bit. <laughs> there ain't right. no backing off around here. No. I'm telling you the truth. Where would you back to? We... we <laughs> <laughs> it's like, maybe we could slow down a little bit. There's no slowing down no. around here. No. Everybody's believing God. Faith is at an all-time high around this place. And that's what you have to do in this yeah. day, in this hour. Faith is an aggressive force. That's right. Now, that's let me read this. To say it. It's an aggressive force. I looked up the word faith here from this 1 John 5, 4. And faith in the Greek, I'll give you a couple of definitions. It's in your notes, which they're available on kcm.org. Faith is a force that is forward directed and aggressive. It's aggressive. It is. This is the Greek definition of it. It's never passive. It never retreats. It's never backward. It's That's never right. backward exactly moving. Right. And it always, it's always reaching to obtain growing. A, a specific target or a goal. It's growing. It's reaching. It's an active force. And I like the amplified translation of this scripture. This is the victory that conquers the world, even our faith. Our faith is the victory that conquers the world. That's the amplified Amen. translation. That's good. And Gloria, I happen to be... What's, what does that cover? <clears throat> Everything in the world. Everything. Everything. And you know what? Even as I'm sitting here with you right now, my faith, I can feel, I feel my faith heart pumping harder. You got faith bumps. I, I, got, <laughs> I've got, I mean, it, it, it just, the more you talk about it, and that's why, that's right. like husbands and wives, you, you have to have faith conversations with you in the face of whatever is going on around your household. You have to have faith conversations. Terry and I, we were talking about something the other day, something that was, that was going on in the, in the church, and, and I could feel the conversation starting to spiral downward. So I took the initiative, and I just said, Terry, we need to get in faith about this one. And you know what? We pulled out of that spiral. Yeah, the dive. The, the, dive. the dive. We pulled out of the dive. And that, that faith conversation, we're sitting in the garage with the car running. We just got home and we're talking about this. And we just activated our faith and we just began to believe God for that situation. And Gloria, it turned everything around. Faith That's what faith does. does. That's what bulldog faith does. Amen. And listen, here's a definition. You need to get the notes if you want this definition because I'm not going to slow down. But okay. this is a definition that Brother Copeland gave to me. This is December of 2008 about faith. And he said, faith is a spiritual power born in the human spirit at the new birth. That's right. It is the spiritual substance of things, all things. It is activated by the mouth and followed with corresponding action. Mm -hmm. It is fed by the word of God when that word is acted upon as quickly as you would a word from your doctor, a lawyer, or your best friend. 
You could say it is fed by the Word of God and yeah. it is maintained. Fed and maintained. And maintained by the you Word know, of God. That's live good, Gloria. This week on what yeah. you got last yeah. week. Yeah. You can go at it, but it won't be strong. You got to keep it going. You, you have to keep, keep it gas going. in the tank. That's right. You may have filled up ha last week. But you have but to keep. But if it's gone now, you don't have any power to That's move. That's right. That's right. And you and I have seen people depleted of their faith. And you just have to go in there and just start feeding them the word and getting them back up. But the key is to not get depleted. That's the key right. is to stay strong. That's the key right. is to watch Dish TV, BVOVN, 24 well, hours a day. Well, you can do it now. The dish, we the, could have done things faster. I mean, you get that. To it's total immersion in the word of yeah. God. And when you totally immerse in the word, it builds your faith muscles. Amen. It builds faith muscles, Gloria. I know that there are things 10 years ago that we were having a hard time believing for that our faith muscles have developed and grown to such a degree that that's like nothing to us now. It changes your capability. It does. It increases that's you. That's good. And the longer like you that. stay at it, you can take off, believe God for a house. It changes you your capability. You can believe God for a jet airplane, wow. you know, cash. Man, oh man. Brother Copeland. It's the way to go. He, he's believing for, he's believing for. Has he for, got to the spaceship yet? We're, <laughs> we're getting there. We're getting there. He, he called me on the phone the other day. He called me on the phone. I don't know why he called me in particular, but he called me. He said, he said, I want a new TV studio. Okay. And he was down here. He was preaching. What? He was Did doing. Did you say, why me? <laughs> he said, but he was down here preaching and he was changing his clothes in between broadcasts. And he called me. He called me on the phone and he said, he Is said, George? George, we're going to need to have a new studio. Okay, Brother Copeland, I am believing God with you. I'm exercising my faith for a brand new. He called it a production center. Okay. Okay. We're believing, we're believing God for... <clears throat> He, he came back from his trip in 2015 from Africa after being at David Ayedipo's church. Yes. Believing that for is a, inspiring. a 50,000 seat facility. And when he got to Ray McCauley's church, he was telling the people about it. And I heard him because I was online listening. And I had just got online listening to him talk about this when he said, and we're believing, and I just came from David Oyedipo's church. He has a 50,000 seat auditorium. He said, I'm going to get me one of them. And he said, Eagle Mountain International Church is, is growing rapidly and the church is going to build a 50,000 seat facility. Well, you better get busy. <laughs> <laughs> and so we've been, he and I've been talking about it together. And he said, George, what you need to do first, we need to build a 10,000 seat facility. That's what we need to do first. He said, dig a hole. Do you get a shovel? <clears throat> I, I must say, <laughs> Gloria, thank you for reminding me because I need, I just need to go out on the property and dig a hole. Find you a spot. I'm going to find me a spot. And uh, thank you for reminding me of that. I take him literally. He didn't say how big a hole. <laughs> He didn't, he didn't say how big a hole. Faith aggressively sees. If you can see it, you can have it. That's right. And there, there are a number of things. Brother Copeland said to me the other day, we're sitting around a table. He said, we said, we need another thousand feet on the runway. He's looking at me. Like we, the runway he, manager, huh? <laughs> I, said, I thought to myself, well, have you talked to John yet? <laughs> but, he, but why is he doing this? Why is this happening? Because our faith is coming up to that aggressive place where it's being developed, it's being strengthened, it's being empowered. And let me leave. That might be because time is short. I think you're right. I think you're absolutely right. And I've got to read this scripture okay. to you. Let me just Let's read this it. scripture to you. The aggressive nature of faith. We're not aggressive with each other. We love each other, but we're aggressive when it comes to taking what belongs to us. Yes, Hebrews 11, 32 through 34, the faith chapter. And what more shall I say? For time would fail me to tell of Gideon and Barak and Samson and Jephthah and of David also and Samuel and of the prophets who through faith uh -huh. subdued kingdoms, 
wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword. Out of weakness, they were made strong. They waxed valiant in fight, turned to flight the armies of the aliens. That's the aggressive nature of of faith. Ephesians 6, 16, above all, taking the shield of faith, where which you are able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And then 1 Timothy 6, 12, we are told to fight the good fight of faith. Now let's think about this a minute. Above all. Above all. That could be the first in importance, but it also could be whatever it is you need above everything. Put faith over it. That everything over it. Glory to God. Oh, glory. Why is that? Because faith works in every area. It does. Above all. Above all things. First, most important thing. Glory to God. That's Hallelujah. It, Gloria. That's good. They're just shaking that little thing like we're out of town. <laughs> we're what out of is time. it? What is it, George? I guess I guess we that gotta take a break here. You and I can keep preaching. Yeah, we can. George and I'll be right and back. And we'll keep preaching. We hope you enjoyed today's teaching from Kenneth Copeland Ministries. And remember, Jesus is Lord.